we're just talking to everybody um, in the family, just getting kind of some background information, um, see if there's something that you never know when you might have a piece of information that triggers something else that we need to look into and, okay. and stuff like that. So we're just trying to do a thorough investigation, talk to everybody. It's all to help Shannon, right? Absolutely. Right. Yep, absolutely. So like I told you, Dad, I know this is a, a really tough time. I'm very sorry to have to meet you under these circumstances. Um, I'm sorry for your loss. I can't imagine what you guys are going through. So I really appreciate you guys taking time to to speak with us. And no problem. I know it's probably not an easy thing to do. So um, I really appreciate it. But like I said, we're trying to do the best, most thorough investigation we can for yeah. for Shannon and the girls. So um, yeah, we're just nerves. No more nerves. I don't even yeah, I can even. I don't know. Like the world coming in, I was just like, oh, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's crazy. Well, let me just start off getting some information from you. It's Frankie? Yes. And your last name? Rusek. Same as your dad? Yes, sir. Yeah, it's weird. I just made a post like a week before all this happened. I said, you know, I'm the last one to, I could extend my, my last, my family's last name. Oh. Even though she couldn't anyway, mm -hmm. you know. But uh, it's just weird. Yeah. You know? It's just so strange. Yeah, I bet. Uh, yeah, I'm the only Rusek left. Just really? John, I don't even know who he is. I've met him on Facebook. I, oh, really? He's not related to me at all. Which is weird. Huh, yeah. So I didn't know. It's a weird last name to have yeah, someone else Yeah, that's not a common last name. So. We're probably related somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. Know. Who knows? But Is he in, where is he at? Like Buffalo, New York. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Pretty it's close to where we grew up. Yeah. In New Jersey. It's oh, close really? Enough. Yeah. Uh, what you did, Mercer? November 8th, 1985. And what's a good phone number for you? Now I know. 315-1121. And an address? 135 Forest Drive, same as him. Okay. We'll just start off with if there's anything that you want to say or have been thinking about or anything that you think we should know. Oh, well, another than I told them, you know, uh, she was she wasn't sick at all until the day he got there, which I thought was real strange. And he didn't come out to take care of her at all. Uh, she was up all night, and I kept checking out her. Uh, so this smoke. This is in North Carolina. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The day he got there, he was acting real standoffish, but we never thought it. You know, just didn't think anything. Just didn't think think he didn't feel good, or he's tired from the flight, or you know. We didn't think anything. He's just, uh, I don't know, he's just like some little weird, like uh, distant, you know. Um, but, um, I mean, if we had known any of this, like he was had was talking to someone else, I mean, boy, that would have been a whole different another story. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, my sister, no one, I mean, she didn't act like anything was wrong until, um, you know, at all. Nothing. Like, it was normal, same thing as it always has been. She never said anything to you about them not getting along no, or no, nothing. Okay. How close yeah. were you with her? Pretty close. She would tell me things like she wouldn't tell my parents. Right. You know, That's another reason to talk to everybody. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, you know, and she told her friends things she wouldn't tell me. You mm -hmm. know, because she wouldn't want me to worry, and she knew eventually I'd probably tell my dad or mom. Right. So, yeah, um, like at the beach when uh, she found out about her lupus or something, it was something going on, and. Uh, it was like acting up or something. She told me in like the elevator, she's like, don't tell mom and dad. I was like, okay, you know, this was like five years ago. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, I was like, oh, thanks. You know, I feel special. Like, right. Thank you. But, um, but no, the, other than that, I mean, that's the only thing that I can uh, say. Uh, and I kept checking on She's always so private and so like, uh, like not to worry about her. Don't worry about me. I'm okay. You know, I'm like, so I'm going to get you wet rags. She was throwing up. She was throwing up and she was, uh, she said she had a real bad headache. She's always had headaches. Mm -hmm. That's kind of why she had a, Surgery in her neck, I guess that's why she had something wrong with her discs. Okay. And uh, she just had it like, I don't know, five, six months ago. She mm -hmm. had to wear one of the big braces. She has a scar. Mm -hmm. But, uh, um, I mean, I don't sleep good. I'm always, I've been depressed for a couple of years, so I don't sleep till about five or six in the morning. And, uh, I'll sleep two or three hours and I'll get up, as you probably see. And I sleep when I can. And, uh, I don't know, I just kept checking out, you know, I'm in and out smoking cigarettes or whatever. and. I go in and peek on her, and she she slept on the couch, which I thought was odd, and and that he never came out to see her 
or or you know because he, he used to be like so like nurturing and so like i mean i was almost like dude you're a little much dude like who cares i mean who's who's like that you know like he went from being like the best guy i could ever picture from my sister to this guy i could care less what happens to him yeah. you know like i hugged him a week ago say thanks man thanks for, thanks for everything yeah, i'll see you you know and he helped me with my brakes on my truck you know um He's a very smart mechanic. He was trying to help me with them, and and uh, I mean, he's give me advice with them and things. You know, it was just so mind blowing. When 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 he did the interview, we kind of knew. I was like, oh, there's no, there's no doubt. Especially yeah. with back in the truck and driveway, well, I was so mad. I wanted to get here, and I wanted to get him to the police station myself. But I'm glad that I didn't. Everyone stop me, <laughs> and they did what they did because he was stupid enough to say and you know, blurt out things. Yeah. So thank God. You know, because they'd probably still be missing. You know, we'd probably still be looking. So, um, but I don't know. That's the only thing I really, um, uh, I don't know. I was, I'm always, I'm kind of private myself. So I was like kind of in my room a lot. So, um, I mean, I wish I'd have hung out with them more. Like being depressed, you kind of seclude yourself from people. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I come out when I would feel good and I go out and play with everybody. And I don't know. It was, uh, if I'd have known any of this, I would have spent way more time and, you know, done way more things. But I figured out, so I was like, I'll see you guys in October. I'll come up for Halloween or something, you know, and go trick or treating with the kids. And uh, um, the only thing, the other thing was weird at the, when Shannon, but this is, I think, for all moms, you know, like she was on the back porch and uh, I mean, the girls were, could see her, literally see her, and she's on the phone, like making a call. And she said, okay, honey, wait one minute. And they're screaming like bloody murder like they would never see her again like screaming like like hey it's okay mommy's okay no oh, see here she is mm -hmm. you know and they, they even if we opened door she'd go out to them and then they'd go play somewhere else they just wanted to know she was there like by them and uh, i mean that's a mom thing but but uh and i was like damn chris what do you chop liver you know and he was like yeah i know right and that was it and then uh i thought it was, you know something i'm like my mom you know like, hey, Dad, hey, Mom, you know, it's, yeah. it's a mom thing. Mm -hmm. But um, um, I don't know. He, uh, he was um, dinner time. We had uh, Bojangles, and they had, like, these little separate, you probably don't know what Bojangles It's a chicken place. <laughs> I've heard and of they it. have little uh, things of uh, coleslaw, and they only had, like, so many for, like, the family. And uh, there was, like, one left, and I was like, Shannon, do you want it? She's like, no, you can have it. And Chris is over scarfing his down, but he hasn't been there, so I was like, it's, I didn't think, you know, he, he, we already, they already had Bojangles once or twice and he loved it. He grew up at his house, you know, and, uh, I was like, let him eat his, you know, and I was like, she didn't eat it. She's like, no, it's okay. I promise. I'm like, you know, just eat it. You know, she won't, she'll just, I don't know, it's just how we are. We're both stubborn. You yeah. Know? So it was sat there in the fridge forever till someone ate it, but I ended up eating it. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, and, uh, I don't know. It's just, I have no, no idea, no idea. Where this would even come from? I've come up with different scenarios in my head, you know. Um, I don't know. You know. Like when you get mad at somebody, and, and uh, you know, I've been in arguments, fights with girlfriends, and you know, they say things that get you into a rage. You're like, oh hell no, you know. Mm -hmm. And you know, I thought maybe he could have told her, or or she was like, hey, well, where did that sixty bucks go to on your little trip you went to the baseball game? And I think he maybe could have told her what he did. He was on a date with his new girl, and she could have said, oh, yeah. Well, I was with some guy in North Carolina the whole time or something, and that's, he could have done something and woke the girls up, and that's why he had to do that. I don't know. I don't know. I could never see him hurting my sister, let alone, like, smacking her. She, I've never even heard her yell, get loud, curse. It's, I mean, seriously, like, you it's never unbelievable. Heard any no, I, violence I, between them I, I, at our wedding I, i'm crying thanking god for him and being in my sister's life and doing my speech yeah yeah so one thing i just wanted to clarify you said um she got sick when he showed up in north carolina yeah right? well it was that night uh, we don't i don't know um um we ate dinner and uh she was on, he's on one side she was on the other but it's it's a table's up against the wall mm -hmm. so you know it's just like just the way it is, because there's not much room at mom's kitchen. And um, I mean, 
I was like, I bet you guys missed each other, you know? Uh, you guys have fun tonight, you know? And they were like, yeah, you know? I don't, I don't know. Now that I look at it, I kind of see it, but right. then I didn't register. No, I didn't think anything of it at all. And, um, but, um, I don't know. She just, uh, I was in my room watching TV. It was about maybe two in the morning. And, uh, I don't really know. It was, it was late. Everyone mm-hmm. was sleeping. And, uh, I heard something going on and I went and peek out enough with the girls or her and I was like, Hey, you all right? You know? And she's like, yeah, I'm okay. I said, what's wrong? She's like, just sick. And I said, was it pregnancy stuff? And she was like, yeah, probably. And, uh, she said, I'm dehydrated. And that's what she sent one of her girlfriends. And she actually made a post saying she was dehydrated here in the South, but she's not, she drinks water. Like she's like no one's business really. It's constantly, and she eats nothing but vegetables and, I have a garden in North Carolina, constantly getting her cucumbers and my peppers and she'd make salads and things mm-hmm. and trying to, she's always healthy, always nut with that, you know, and uh, keeping the baby healthy, that was her main thing, you know, and I was like, do you need anything? Uh, can you take anything? She's like, no, I can't really take anything. Well, I was like, that's things, you know. Um, I said, well, what can I do? You know, she said, it's just okay. I'll let you know. And I gave her, she asked me for some shorts. I gave her shorts. It's actually that pair I brought with me. I wear them. But uh, and um, I think um, I think I checked her two or three times, and I just make sure she was okay. I'd like peek around the corner on the couch, make sure she was okay. And I think maybe she went in there so she didn't go back in her room, make kids up. Maybe mm-hmm. you know. So that's what I was thinking. Um, but I heard they got an argument that night on the back porch. So I don't know. I don't know what the argument was about. I was I wasn't even there. And uh, I think it's my dad or mom or somebody said it. They got a little argument. But okay. so you didn't uh, hear the argument. Someone no. told you they didn't. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I don't even know. I, I know it was about his parents and stuff that, you know, he had just gotten back from his parents. I think that was actually, I think that was the night before they left to go home, maybe, because they had already went to the beach, I think. It's hard for me to remember. It's just uh, my brain is shot, really. But um, it was one of the, it wasn't the day, it was the day we got Bojangles, so I remember. So I'm pretty sure it was the day before they left and um, um, to actually go home. But um, but I was like, you know, I, I was like, well, the guy want to hang out with his family, and she was like, you know, she, um, she was she was gonna spend all week with us, and on the weekends go to his house, his family's house, so they all go swim, see the kids, and she's got pictures all over to prove it, and you know, the the nut thing kind of set her off, and and the family could care less, so she said, screw it, I'm staying at my mama's house, my mom's house, you know, and her and my mom butt heads a lot, so she'd be like, she's like, man, how do you deal with this? I'm like, hey. <laughs> Yeah, the guy do like I do, and see me and my girlfriend. We had broke up a couple months ago, so I went back to mom's house. Let her keep the condo. She had kids, so mm. you know, what am I gonna take and let you not have a house with kids? So I was like, so I go back home. Mom's eat some good food, you know. <laughs> but uh, um, other than that, that's all I could really say. Or, or um, I lived out there for. Um, I moved out there when she first had Bella, and um, you moved to Colorado. Yeah. Okay. And um. Back, it was like July 1st, and I, what's weird is I think I actually came home on August 13th, which is weird, really weird. It's, it's gotta be around that day, because I remember it was only like what, 40-something days. I remember counting the days, because like, um, I don't know, I was trying to um, like make it out there and make her happy, and we were having so much fun. And she was like, take care of me like a mom, you know? And uh, whether she wanted to believe it or not, she's like my mom times 10. Like way more, <laughs> way more, like anal. Like if you put something here, she, you know, it goes just here. Yeah. Here's where it goes, you know. But um, and he, he was, I mean, he was on point with things. Like I don't know. And uh, I wanted to go to the beach with them, but I I had to work. I was starting a new job, and uh, a lot of times when I came home, the girls were always sleeping and things. So, um, I don't know. She she. She didn't say anything. I don't remember saying anything at all um, about him, other than uh, about the kids and stuff. I mean, it was just normal things. Mm-hmm. Nothing weird, nothing off the uh, ordinary. How long were you in Colorado? Um, maybe a month and a half. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I came home to be here by October for my my family, my, my class reunion. Um, that's what I remember, and I said, like, I'll be back. And like, we both cried and we said our goodbyes. And I, tried, I actually got like two hours away, and I 
we're actually about an hour away and I turned around, was starting to go back. So I was like, I can't leave my sister. You know, watch, seeing her cry and uh, saying goodbye to Bella and stuff. I was like, oh, it's eating me up the whole way. And I was like, I got to turn back around. And I went back for like 20 minutes. I was like, I really want to go home, you know, and that's when I like that my depression was really starting. I didn't know what was going on. You know, I was, just knew I was tired a lot and things. But um, I still got to get a doctor for that because obviously it's been four years yeah. I've been dealing with it. So this was back when Bella was born? Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and I was happy to help, you know, with Bella. And, and she was so, like, new mom, so everything's super clean and super, right. pre- like, um, everything's out of reach and things. And Cece was a whole other story. She's a wild child. So no matter if you put things up high, she'll find it, she'll get it. You know, that's why she did the latches on the doors and things. She was a funny kid, I tell yeah. you. <laughs> they went swimming at the house and uh they, they the day they got there i was i first met cc i didn't see my sister in like three years which i hate i hate that you know mm-hmm. just being so far away um um but uh they went swimming and they had a great time and i was playing with them and there's actually video we with the squirt guns and we were playing i was having a good time and uh now you know <sighs> see they get they went inside and went and got changed in their nice clean clothes and dry clothes and they come outside and they, Bella or Cece and Bella went right by the pools and Bella, she's just quiet and distant. She does her own little thing. And Cece, she's just got to be here, get her, get her, get her. She's just crazy. She's a crazy little kid. Mm-hmm. And uh, she's like, there's to put her foot over the pool. And Shannon's like, no, I just, you just got chained. And she just looks at her like, dunk. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. <laughs> she's like, F you. And she's like, yeah, she knows I'm not going to get up. I'm just tired, you know? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. Chasing her around all day, it was exhausting. Oh, yeah. It was. Even watching her was exhausting. <laughs> um, but um, but no, I, that's why it's, I'm, we were more shocked and, and, and enraged, you know, to the even, you know, we heard about it on the news first. I remember on the, the, the computer, you know, me and my mom were inside and we're calling people trying to see who heard, who's heard anything and and I heard my dad scream out of the back porch, and we were like, oh my God. And we run out there, and he's crying. And we had this the big scream, you know, husband admits to murdering mother and children. And we were like, I don't know. It was, it was awful. It was awful. So I'll never forget. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, I'm sorry you guys had to find out that way. That's yeah, it's awful. Not, not what we wanted to have happen. I know, I know. The I know. way these media people are, it's unbelievable, man. Yeah. Seriously. Uh, I'm sorry. Right after we found out, uh, family's calling. We're calling family, and this lady Carol calls Carol McKinley from ABC News. I didn't know. I said, like, "Is this Saint Carol?" And she's like, "Yes." And I talked for about thirty minutes. You know, I was like, "Oh my God, can you believe this?" You know, and crying to her. And I, towards the end of the conversation, she says something. I was like, "Who's this?" She was like, "Oh, this is Carol such and such." And I was like. Are you, are you for real? You let me, you know, what a piece of shit, yeah. you know? And uh, I, I said, I said, well, you're not releasing any of these things I'm telling you, right? She's like, no, not unless you give me um, whatever, um, ac- uh, access, whatever. Consent. Yeah. And mm-hmm. I was like, hell no, no. Especially since you took it from without me knowing, right. you know? That's just wrong. I was so mad. I was so mad. And I was, ever since then, I, every time I answered my phone, I'm like, who the hell is this? Yeah. Even I got the number saved. Right. You know? It's it's crazy. Like people mm. are fucked up. They yeah, really are. Terrible. People creating fake accounts for pay for, like I said, with the Chris thing and uh, yeah, that's terrible. I mean, we're sitting there. I'm watching the video of this cortex. We didn't really get to see it, you know. And uh, and all of a sudden it says Chris Chris Watts sent you a friend request. I'm like, like why send it to me? Yeah, send it some other schmuck. Like, right. It's like I was bad enough to see his face all over the internet and all over TV. You know, it's like your family went from a normal life to this yeah. nightmare, circus, you know, cameras everywhere, lights everywhere, people texting, calling, and everyone's been so nice, so nice. You know, it's like, I don't deserve it. You know, I feel like I don't, it's not for me. It's mm-hmm. for her and the kids. Oh, I'm so sorry. Here's this. Here's some money. I'm like, no, please. You know, you know, says, I don't feel worthy. You know, um, I don't do anything to have them back. Yeah. yeah, if I can give everything back to them, you know, I would. But, but I don't know. Seeing him today and, and watching him in a video, I feel bad for him. I do. Yeah. I really do. I can't help it. I know what he did to my sister and, and 
When I saw her house today, I saw a garage, knowing that was where they dead bodies left. It ate me up. But seeing him and watching him today, I was just, you know, watching the video when I got to Chris Watts thing, it was like, I still feel bad for him. I have a heart in my chest. You know, I do. And mm -hmm. we loved the guy. We did. He was my brother. And it's just crazy. Yeah. They never fought, never did anything, never argued. Even Shannon, when I was there, when I moved out of there, she was like, can you tell him to be a little bit of an asshole? <laughs> you know, he'd come down and call me a bitch or something, yeah. you know? And it's just one of those yes man, you know, he, he was in love with her. That's why he was in love. He was like, like, like obsessed. And I think maybe he, he probably had in his head, if I can't have you, no one will. And he either did that and, and the kids had to have seen, I, I don't ever see any other way of why he would do that, yeah. you know, at all. I really don't. But there's no doubt in my mind, my sister would never, ever, ever hurt two children. If she found pistachios in my room and she went off on me. She's like, what are you thinking? I was, that's the worst night she could be around. And I was like, I'm sorry, I've been here for like months. I don't yeah. know, sorry. <laughs> you know, right on my shelf. And she's like, if you don't see things, you can get to them. I was like, oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. So I went through my room, made sure everything was, you know, everything, chocolate, whatever. And uh, she's very protective, very protective. And uh, I mean, she watched, she was all over them, all over them. And uh, I, I don't know, she, uh, she loves her kids. Loved her more than anything in this world. She, was, she wasn't even supposed to have kids. She had lupus. They told mm -hmm. her she would never have kids. She almost had endometriosis when she was young. Um, she had so many scares and, you know, she, that's all she ever wanted was kids. Every time she seen a kid, she always hold one and walk around the house. She babysit them. Um, I don't know, I have, I have to have the picture she's got with kids on her hips all yeah. growing up. She just wanted to be a mom. And uh, once she found out she was pregnant, it was crazy. Everyone was freaking out. I couldn't believe it. And, uh, um, and then I, I, my parents, they all flew out. I wish I could have came, but that's when I ended up moving out here. And then um, then they found out about CC and I was like, this is crazy, you know? And then, then she found out she was pregnant again. I was like, oh boy, this is a boy this time. And I, I know it. I had a feeling my mom did that little test with the needle on the string. Yeah. And it said boy. And I was like, really? oh, this is going to be cool. You know, I was so excited because, you know, was, you got fun with your nieces and stuff all you want. Right. But boy, you can go fishing. I mean, I can do that with girls, but you know what I mean. It's right. Like, no, I understand. Boy things, yeah. you know, and uh, I was so excited because I don't know if I could have kids. I tried with girls all these times, 33 years, probably 33 years old, you know, and I don't have any. Mm -hmm. So obviously something's wrong, you know, but because uh, yeah, they all have kids now, all my ex-girlfriends. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, and so, so I was like, well, screw it. You know, I got some nieces. I don't worry about it. Yeah. You know, I'll take care of them, spoil them. Yeah. So now I got nothing. Yeah. Okay. Robbing them. Yeah. It's going to be tough. Yeah, it's my only sister, my only family member. Um, so you said she was sleeping on the couch when she was out there. Did she do that the whole time she was there? No, she, not Just, once. No, once. Only when he was there. Okay. Did she sleep on the couch the whole time he was there? Do you know? Um, there, she, he was there like one day, and then they went to the beach, and then they came back, and uh, for sure that was the night, and then she slept on the couch. The, the night before they went to the beach, they all slept in the room. Okay. Yeah. How many nights Almost was he five. there? Maybe, maybe three. I need to ask my dad. Okay. I don't know. I, I didn't, I'm not going to keep paying attention to stuff like that. Um, it wasn't much because he was just supposed to come there and he was hanging out with us for a day and then he was going to go to the beach. And the last day he came back, he was going to hang out with his family. And, uh, and they were supposed to go to the beach with them. And mm -hmm. I think they did, but they didn't meet up at all. They, oh, really? Because they had nothing. Yeah. Because yeah. they had it planned, you know, and his dad loved those kids because he did, you know. I feel sorry for his family. They gotta go through a whole lot. You right. know? I can imagine what they're going through. You know, they lost nieces and their son. You know, and I'm sure some of them had love for my sister. You know, yeah. not the mom so much, but hey, it's her problem. You know, right. But uh, and I was keeping in touch with his his sister through this thing, even after the interview. And I, oh boy, I knew immediately. And I was like, just ignore it. You know, people are gonna talk crap. You know, just ignore it. Don't the media, you know, the media. Yeah. yeah. No, people commenting on that. On, his but I mean, his interview with the media. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, people are like, oh, he's guilty. He's going to rot in hell. He's guilty as shit. And she's like trying to stick up for him. I was like, you know, just let it be. You know, and I said, we all love Chris. You know, we're all still family, you know, whether people butt-headed or not. There's a family missing right now. And that's what we got to worry about, you know. 
and uh, she said something. She she said, you know, I'm worried. I'm scared for everybody. Is what she said. And I thought that was kind of weird. You know, mm-hmm. I'm scared for everybody. I was like, hmm. You know, it's, but you know, it's still again, we Chris, not the Chris we know. Yeah. You know? So I was like, well. But then after you know, like I said with the interview, I was like, this is this is just all too much. This is immediately him laughing. No, it's just not him. It's like a, it's like the devil got into him and turned him into a whole different person. Yeah. I mean, no, it's like just shut him off. Like he was never like a hyper and happy guy. He's always kind of, I don't know. He just uh, didn't get excited about things. He didn't really show emotion, but now he's like really not showing anything. Yeah, you know. Um, but that's, um, I mean, I was. What's his sister's name? Jamie, Jamie Watts. No, yeah, Jamie, it's, hang on. It's not Watts anymore. It's, um, <clears throat> I'd have to go through a bunch of messages. Oh, it's, Cause I remember seeing it like in my head the other day. Hang on, I'll get it. Um, but she was, maybe me, me and everyone deleted and blocked each other. And me and her stayed friends at all of them. Cause yeah. I didn't have no problems with nobody. I'm right. I'm easy going, you know, if you don't mess with me, I'll mess with you. You, you and Shannon have problems. I, that's your problem. You know, I, um, that's, that's not on me. That's, that's you guys, you know, and you know, their family become like our family. And, uh, like I said, his dad, I mean, he was, he posted pictures of those little girls every day. And uh, every time Shannon posted something, he would comment and, and love and like it. And, you know, uh, Ronnie, he was a good dude, you yeah. know, and I, I can imagine they're probably losing their jobs over this and God knows because, you know, people are coming to their jobs and parents had nothing to do with this as far as I know. I mean, if, even if they did, they weren't here. They, right. didn't, they didn't make them do it. And, the, you know, the thing with strangulation, it's like you have a chance to stop doing what you're doing or you can continue. Mm-hmm. And then you're done with one and you still have choices to go to the other two. Right. You know, that's what, I don't know. I keep seeing it in my head. Like in his point of view of my family's faces, yeah. And I don't know why I asked God to get it away from me. I don't want to see that anymore. I don't know why. I guess like either Shannon's talent showing me or or what, but but I wish it would go away. Uh, far away Jamie Watts there? Williams is her name. Watts Williams. Yeah, on Facebook. Yeah, she. Um, Do you have her phone number, or do you just talk to her through Facebook? No, it's just through Facebook. Yeah. yeah. Um, Messenger or do you call her on Facebook? No, or? no, we never were close like that. This was like the, uh, um, this was like the only time uh, I think it was about January 9th, 2014 was the last time I talked to her on here oh, okay. before this. Um, but I said, uh, she said no one was talking to nobody for, for no reason. And, uh, I mean, when, when they went missing and my parents, we all thought that was kind of odd, but you know, I think they were scared for their son. And I didn't want to mm-hmm. because, you know, anything said could have been misconstrued. And uh, she said to me out of nowhere, she said, hi, I just want you to know I'm scared for everyone involved. And I said, uh, thank you. Uh, you and I both, this is crazy. We are torn up, disbelief and shock. Thanks again. Just pray as much as possible. She said, oh, trust me. I know I haven't said anything, but honestly, I'm trying to figure it out. Uh, she said, I, I just can't. People are making most horrible assumptions. I said, no, that's Facebook. Uh, I try not to read the comments. Some people are assholes. I'm sorry. She said, uh, someone's asking me, what's the mark on his neck? And oh boy, I saw it. I'm like, how did no one see that? You know? And I was like, I know they are, you know, she's trying to play both sides. Try to be nice, Mm -hmm. you know, even though it's eating me up. Mm -hmm. I'm still a nice guy. I don't care. Even like with my posts, I'm praying for his family. I am. I'm praying for him. You know, I said what I said the first day. You know, I said, make Satan have mercy on the soul instead of God, you know, and uh, I meant it. But now, you know, I feel bad for the guy. So, I mean, he's never been in trouble in his life. He's never even went to court, I don't think. So this is like a whole new thing for him. Right. So he's scared to death. And I'm just, I was just hoping he would get me mad enough today and just be like, you know what, this is what happened. But I'm sure his team has talked to him enough, you know, to try to make him believe he can get out of this. Right. It's not going to happen. I don't give a shit. The whole world will go in up, up for if he gets free. But I, I even said, I'll pay for his bail. But anyway, I said, uh, 
I said, I know they're asking, they're asking us to make your messenger private or delete your comment. They will hound you. You know it. I said, people are heartless. Just ignore it. She said, I'm trying to, but it's hard. Um, we, he would never hurt his family. I don't understand this. I said, oh, trust me. I know people are already assuming they're deceased. Like, what the fuck? Uh, everyone is an expert online, you know? She said, Facebook is the devil. Hmm. Well, I said, oh, I know. We all love Chris. It's killing me. I'm actually trying to stay off here for a few days. And yes, you're right. People are effed up and don't care. That's why I said, I said for them to be respectful to her and to us. Mm -hmm. And uh, she said, I appreciate that comment. I appreciated that comment. And I said, please just ignore it. We all are going through enough. We don't need the extra stress either. She said, I'm doing my best. Thank you. I'm here if you if you need anything. I said, thank you so much. Same here. And she did a heart. And I said, I love you guys. Stay strong. I'm so worried about them. I can't even think straight. She said, uh, me too. I'm a mess. I said, this feels like something of a scary movie or some nightmare. I'm in shock. I don't want to believe any of this. My sister and nieces are all I have. And Chris is like a brother to me. You guys became our family. Yes, yeah, some by heads, but this all needs to be put aside because there, there is something more important thing to worry about right now. All of our sanity and the precious lives of three kids and my only sister. Um, she said, I totally agree. We are family and yes, lots of crashing heads at time, but big boulders. We all want them home. I just can't believe the onslaught of people attacking him. I said, I understand people don't know him like we do, but don't don't let it bother you. It will make you insane. I know you love your bro as we do. Just ignore it and trust me. She said, trust me, I'm trying. I'm getting feisty though. My brother would never hurt anyone. I said, oh, I know, that's, that's blood. You fight for the ones you love. I'd be the same way, which I am. Don't, don't let it bother you. People won't stop. And once they know they got you, they'll keep going. They're heartless. And she said, they are ridiculous. And, uh, and this was the next day at 11 a.m. I said, hey, I just wanted to say I love you guys. I'm praying that we get some good news soon. And she said, love, love y'all too. Praying so hard. And then that was at 4 p.m. So she, you know, she took her all day and mm -hmm. messaged me back. And, uh, then that's the day I'm pretty sure we found out. And that's when I, I said that and I, did, I blocked her immediately. I didn't want her to see what I wrote because, you know, she loves her brother, mm -hmm. just like I love my sister. And I'll do whatever the hell it takes to find him, you know? And I was trying to get out of here as much as I got. If I, someone would have paid for my ticket, I'd have been here. And it probably wouldn't have been good, mm -hmm. you know? And uh, it's probably good it happened the way it did because uh, then nobody would know anything because I, I don't know. I couldn't tell you. It wouldn't have been good. I can understand that. Um, but that was the only person I talked to. I mean, I don't talk to his parents or nothing. Mm -hmm. And her brother, her husband, he's a little weird guy too, but he's nice. He's a nice guy. He's just. How far away do they live from you guys? <sighs> Spring Lake, I think. So Spring Lake. I don't know. Like it's almost towards Fayetteville. We're like like an hour, forty five minutes from Fayetteville. So, and I only went to their mom's house once for for Belle's birthday or something or something like that it's before CC came, and um, Belle was just a little baby, um, but but that. I'm pretty sure they stay kind of close to each other, but uh, my dad knows. He knows where they live. Okay. Pretty sure he knows the address and everything. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, it's, it was, I don't know. I was trying, it was as hard as I knew in my head immediately. As soon as I heard his truck back in the driveway, all the doors were locked from me inside out. Someone had to come into that garage, and someone had to leave through that garage. And that was the only way. And I, I immediately knew. You know, yeah. Shannon's, Stuff ripped off her bed. Her ring was on a counter. I, I I see my sister in my head. I know my sister. I know she took her ring off. She's like, you have the house. You have everything. I just want my, my kids. And she probably took kids in the phone and was going to walk out and maybe he attacked her onto the couch. And the girls were like, mommy, mommy. And you know, and then, I don't know. I got like 20 different scenarios that I, that I built up in my head. But that's the only other way. I mean, because, I mean, God knows. I mean, I've been mad enough to, to you know, want to, like, not strangle anybody, but, like, be, you know, I don't know. Like, like my ex-girlfriend, she bit a hole out of my arm. 
And I didn't do nothing, but boy, I was like so mad. I was right. like, Jesus, what the hell's wrong with you? I took her phone, I just was doing like this, and I was playing with her. She's like, bit a hole. I have wow. a scar, I'll show you. And she bit a hole in my arm. I'm like, what the fuck's wrong with you? But, uh, but I mean, never, never, never. And I don't know, she wouldn't, she wouldn't do that. I know that for a fact. I've lived that mm-hmm. my whole life. How often did you talk to Shannon? Um, not as much as I wish. You know, we'd, um, she posted every day. Yeah. So I would uh, comment in love and, you know, do that. Um, and it seemed like more often I would, um, like here recently before she came, I guess, because um, cause I guess she knew, I knew she was coming. And um, I always loved the girls' pictures and things like that. And I don't know, I just, it's hard to remember back. I, you know, I didn't really, I didn't really pay attention to much, you know. I just went with the flow. Yeah. You know, my life is a whole nother crazy mess. <laughs> so, you know, trying to remember and, and you know, it's, I don't know. But, I don't know, they said there's like a, <clears throat> someone that, someone we could talk to here, like a psychiatrist or whatever, not a psychiatrist, but, I mean, they got, we had a family doctor at home that they all got to see before they left. I don't have one, you know? And, uh, I mean, I don't like need to go see a therapist. Mm-hmm. But I would like some like medication or something because I don't sleep. I don't. Eat. This is it's getting even worse. I'm sure you can see it under my eyes. Yeah. Fucking um, so going crazy. You know, really in my head. Like, I mean, I'm fine mentally, but you know what I mean. Like, mm-hmm. it's just. It's well, this just, is a tough thing. This is gonna. Yeah. This will wear on anybody. So you know, it's gonna be years. You, know? you gotta take care of yourself, man. If you need to go see uh-huh. somebody. Yeah. Go see somebody. Yeah. Well. well I guess we'll be home in a few days. We'll do something. Yeah. Because yeah. I got, I mean, I got back problems. I got spinal stenosis and neck problems just like oh, Shannon really? did. And, you know, it's been killing me. I don't know what the heck it is. Again, I, when I look to the right, I got to do this. But, um, but that's at least my worries. Yeah. You know, I can fall apart. I don't care. I just, you know, I'm going to get this solved and get it just deserved. Mm-hmm. You know, so we're doing the best that we can. I appreciate it. Thanks for everybody's help. You know, my yeah. post, I said the cops were drag- dragging it. Yeah, I was mad. I'm sorry. No, I, we, I didn't we know. You know, I, I know. And now we I understand. understand. Yeah. And I was so mad. And we're used to it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and I have nothing against cops. I have a bunch of cop friends. It's, it's, and, you know, no was, offense taken. I just didn't. I wanted to be found sooner, you know, because I want to be able to see them again, you know, and hug them. Yeah. No, I, don't, I, I don't want to see them like they are now, which I'm probably going to, but, you know, it's gonna be rough, but yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember, I remember them like that. So I don't know. Because I already have enough in my head. Yeah. I've seen them. And I don't know why. It's like every time someone asks me, hey, what do you think happened? It's like, oh, here we go. Yeah. And you know, I see it. It's like, it's like my sister's playing it for me on like a film or something. It's weird. And then I don't know if my dad told you, but the day we got here, we chopped off our stuff. We went downstairs and got off the elevator, and boom, there's a girl standing there identical to my sister. I've mean, really? never seen anybody ever look like my sister. I have a picture, I took uh-huh. a picture of her. Yeah, I mean, my dad, I look up and it's every goose bump and his body was standing up, his mm-hmm. hair was sticking up this high. And I mean, I wanted to like run up to her and be like, are you fucking with us? You know, are you, are you playing? <laughs> yeah. This is fake. And I went over and I, was, I literally had to go over and like look at her face. And I was like, this, you know, damn, you know, mm-hmm. too bad. Yeah. But, uh, that was crazy. Yeah. And then like we went to the gas station to get some lighters and uh, this little homeless guy just walked around and he was like, stay strong. It was like, oh, you know, I don't know. I believe in things like that, yeah. you know, like, you know, he was, I mean, I, I get a friend. Every time you hear that, it's my friend request. Friend request I, yeah. I even changed it to friend of friends, you know, mm-hmm. and it's still, it's so ridiculous. Wow, that's crazy. But yeah, it was, I mean, she had the same outfit, same hair, stopped the hair, jet black. I mean, same type of shirt, same hmm. spandex pants. Really? Flip flops. I mean, it was, it was her. It was. Maybe it's it a sign. I don't know. It was unbelievable. Yeah, it was like, like, like my, my dad said, you know, she's Donna, she's here with us, you know. Yeah. But, uh, but I, I already knew that. But, you know, it was like a, you know, I felt better. I was real sad at the moment, but I felt right. better. Like, yeah. when we left, I was like, you know, okay. But, you know, it comes and it goes, you know, one second, I'm like, I forget all about it. And then, and then I see it on TV or I look at my phone or, mm-hmm. you know, I have a tattoo of, with about her, you know, it's a, it's a lupus ribbon. I got like, oh, really? Right, yeah, it's a, 
I got it. That was the first one that my dad got one. My mom. You saw your dad's. Yeah. Huh. But um, it nice. just says Shay and Ann. And, yeah. But I, uh, I got it before our first lupus walk that we did, and, and uh, I just couldn't wait to show her, and it was so sore. Oh my god! The guy <laughs> did it was like four hundred pounds. Oh really? He stuck. It's all awful. It's got to be redone. And he was. I swear, I could feel it. Uh, my whole rib cage like, mm, like <laughs> felt like it was tattooing my nipple. I guess because yeah. of the nerve endings. Oh my god, it hurts so bad. But uh, she was like, "Why'd you do that? Why'd you put it there?" I said, "Well, they said the worst place to put it was right there." And I said, "I want to feel some of the pain that you do, yeah. you know." And she said, "Well, why there?" I said, "Well, close to my heart, you know." And I said, "Eventually, when you have kids, I'll put them there, you know." And she's like, "Oh," and she cried, and we hugged, <laughs> and you know, never for hell, never like hell for days. But um, I don't regret it ever. I'll never regret it. Like mm-hmm. I one here for my cousin that died 15 years ago. You know, it's like my ex-girlfriend in Kansas said. You know, I've never seen anybody go through as much as you have in your life. I mean, I've been to at least 50 funerals really? in my lifetime. You know, friends, family. I got no grandparents. No, uh, I mean, I got one best friend, you know. But uh, it's pretty crazy. Uh, uh, people at Odin all the time, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, old friends or car accidents. You know, so my yeah. cousin died in a car, car accident. Oh, okay. He was 24. But it, uh, July 27th, he'd have been 38. So, yeah, it's been it's been crazy. Yeah. It's been a wild it's been ride. Rough, huh? Yeah, I never thought this would happen. Yeah. Sure. You know, if you're gonna take some, if you're gonna take your anchor out, and my sister, God, that would have killed me. But man, you know, these poor little kids yeah. had nothing to do with it. Yeah. Nothing to do with anything ever. They're so happy and so full of life. Yeah. And it's just so weird. At Bella, you know, she was hugging the hell out of me before they left, and she didn't do that the whole time. The whole time she would not let me go. And uh, she's being silly. She was, she was like, Uncle Frank is in the house. She was like deepening in her voice. Yeah. Oh, man. It was made me melt. You know, he even heard just <laughs> when they said Uncle Frankie or even Frankie. I didn't care. You yeah. Know? They didn't call me uncle, you know. But uh, Cece, it's, it's, she, it's too much for her to say uncle. She's like, Frankie, Uncle Frankie. But, uh, but Bella, she's just a, she was just a kind heart. She was going to be like me, I think, you know. And CC was going to get her some trouble. Yeah, yeah I think so. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like it. Said she's going to do a little adrenaline junkie. She's going to jump out of airplanes. And <laughs> she was fearless, very fearless. If there was a snake, she, ooh, snake, you know, she wasn't scared of anything. Really? Yeah. So. Well, those are the good memories, man. Those are the ones you want to hold on to. Yeah, I wish I could have got her, got to know more, mm-hmm. you know. But thanks to Shane and her Facebook, I got to see them grow. Yeah. Up, you know. So I'm glad she did that. I mean, there's millions and millions of pictures. Yeah, she so loved those kids. All she did was take pictures. And that one picture I have is my Facebook cover. It's a, it's a 4th of July, we're getting ready. And, and uh, I was like, let me go get ready first before you take a picture. It's like, oh, they look so cute. Let's take a picture real quick. I'm like, no, yeah, please, you know. It's like, please, I won't post it. Okay, and she posted it. And everyone loved it, so I like, screw it, you know. And, uh, you know, I wanted to be red, white, and blue like they were. I wanted to dress up for 4th of July, you know, take them out and carry them, to go mm-hmm. see fireworks. And we get there and it's pouring down rain. We missed the fireworks. Oh, no. Yeah, we had to go back home. But I recorded them on my phone for for the girls. And uh, and uh, they would be like, you, they'd be upset if you see them without them. I was like, well, I mean, we they all left. Like, I I met them there. And um, I when we got there, we were all hiding underneath the tent. And I was holding, my dad was holding Bella and my mom was holding Cece or Shannon was one of the other. And um, I mean, it was coming down, like coming down, like out of nowhere. And I thought it was gonna cancel fireworks. It was so bad. And uh, everyone left. And um, I, I went to uh, Panera Bread. I'm pretty sure you guys went mm-hmm. Panera Bread. I went to go get some broccoli soup for everybody. You know, I was gonna go home. I was like, well, I'll clear it up. I said, I want to go see the fireworks. You know, it's only gonna be 10, like 30 minutes anyway. So I stopped there and I was like, I'm recording for the girls. I don't even think I even watched it because I was so busy trying right. to record it. Yeah, and then they get to the house and she was like, you know how mad they would be if they, you seen them without them? I was like, oh, shit. I can say someone sent it to me, you know? Yeah. But I don't even think we ever showed them, you know? But, uh, and uh, I, I was, I, I, the broccoli soup, I was like, can, can CC have this? She was like, I don't know, what's in it? I was like, I don't know. Like, I have to look up the ingredients. I mean, she was that worried. Any right. little thing. Ever since she had the epilepsy, epi- the shock, epileptic shock, whatever mm-hmm. you want to call it. She's been scared to death. And she, you know, she was a nervous wreck constantly. And she followed every little thing she did. We put everything up that she couldn't eat, you know, and uh, we bought everything she could and put it on her level. So she wanted to grab something, be something she mm-hmm. wanted. And uh, 
she was um like everything she would read i'd uh, buy a candy and i'd be like hey can i give them a piece and she would let me see it and she'd read every little word you know and uh so that's why i i mean you can look at it. you can watch one video and know she didn't do it mm-hmm. you know so but other than that you know was, uh other than that so i really know nothing else that you can think of or any questions that we haven't asked you anything like no that? just what people say yeah. you know that, that they thought that he was cheating and that shannon said well if he's cheating he doesn't have any game or something like that i said well it would be something she'd say you know but <laughs> she never said anything to you about no. it i wish she did yeah. i do i wish because you know i don't know i mean i don't know what i could have done but i don't know i would have if I would have busted his ass in North Carolina yeah. and got it out of him, that's for sure. Uh-huh. No matter how big he got, I ain't scared of nobody, yeah. especially for my sister. You know how many <laughs> fights I've gotten to for my sister? How many times I got beat up because of my sister? <laughs> you know, guys were men in school, you know, with the old, their pins, they're actually pins, now stickers. Uh-huh. They're poking her on a school bus, they're poking her. And I'm like, so leave my sister a bunch of black boys. I was like, leave, leave her the hell alone, you know? She, she said, stop. I'm like, oh yeah, you're gonna be, you're gonna do something about it. And they like grabbed all their books and they like hit it me on the head. That's probably why I got a neck problem. <laughs> and they just stomped me out on the bus right then and there. The bus driver they didn't do nothing. Yeah, but uh, you know, I I didn't care. I said, I'd do anything. Yeah, yeah. It's my sister. It's my only sister. And uh, she took me to her senior prom because I didn't have a day. You know who does that? Oh really? Senior prom? Yeah. Yeah. And she she was loved by many men. The guys, any guy would want to be with her. And she, they were upset today that she took me and said yeah. but I was proud, yeah. yeah and cool. she always got me girls to dance with. It's all her older girlfriends and things. So I was like, I had it made growing <laughs> yeah. up. I did, yeah. I like dated all her friends. She's like, <laughs> what friend didn't you date? You know, like, I don't know. There's quite a couple. I still can, you know. But, uh, but yeah, I'd never do nothing. Nothing. If I did, I'd tell you, I promise yeah. I would. But nothing, because. Uh, anything I could say to, to help, I would, because I'd put him under the jail if I could, but I wish, I wish yeah. I did. Well, I appreciate you taking time to talk to us. I know it's not, it's not easy. And, uh, oh, thanks for trying I can't imagine can, what you had to go on through, so. And I'm sorry, friend. I mean, I like I told the coroner, but I'm sorry that you guys had to see and do, and whoever had to find them. I can only imagine they got to see that yeah. in their head, you know. I appreciate that. I couldn't imagine. I feel sorry for everybody involved. You know, Thank you. I'm watching people that. on the news crying. They don't even I don't know who the heck they are. They don't right. know who they are and crying. I mean, it means a lot. It did. Like that kid last night, he, he said, you know, he said something about, what if the one girl seen the other girl you know, it happening to them? He said, and he starts breaking down. I was breaking down. I'm like, yeah. man, this poor kid. You know, he, he just got off work, but I went by just to drop off a, a baby bear. And all these kids were dropping off their favorite toys. Yeah. You know, I'm like, oh man, I wish we could give it back to them. Say the girls want you guys to have it. Right. Back, you know, but it touched a lot of lives. Yeah, we're gonna do- donate them to um, uh, St. Jude or something. Oh, so nice. to give all the babies, all the bears right. and stuff, yeah. all the things that can be salvaged. You know, because nice. you know what else are we gonna do? I mean, yeah. I've already took a couple things that we could, some cards and things, but you know, I don't know. I'd like to have some of their things, right? You know, like their blankets and things, right. but um. You know, but I mean, it's, it's the yards getting bigger and bigger. They keep piling stuff up. I just every time it keeps breaking my heart. Yeah. Like I want to go there so bad. I want to go in the house. Yeah. I do. I, as bad as I know what happened in the house, it's probably all going to hit me. But my sister loved her house. She worked very hard for what she had. And before she got with Chris, she was very wealthy. She had a huge house in Charlotte. You can look it up. Huge house. I mean. She did all on her own. She was making almost half a million dollars a year, like 20 something years old, mm. like 22 years old. She was doing very good. She was very, very smart. She was very business savvy. Uh, it's like I said, yeah, she could sell ketchup to a ketchup factory. Yeah. Like she could. I don't know how she did it. <laughs> I mean, I know she was pretty, but she, she could talk and talk and walk, yeah. you know. So, and I was, you know, I had a lot to keep up with, you know, the competition. Right. You know? It made me look bad. You know, you're at my mom and dad's house, and here you are in two houses already. <laughs> two kids, you know, working on your third, married, happy, you know. And the wedding, if you watch the wedding video, I mean, it would kill you. And they're so happy. I mean, mm-hmm. it was unbelievable. I mean, he was so awkward. He did like this little, he tried to do this magic mic dance, and he's so awkward. Oh, really? But he did it all for her, and yeah. 
yeah, what a goofball. But you know, I made made me made us all love him more. He did right. it just for her. Right. You know, who cared was what was watching. You know, and he's shy like me. I'm a shy guy. You know, I probably would never do that. I don't care how much I loved her. You know, but I don't know. I don't know. I I ain't met one that loved me as much as I love them yet. So we'll see. Mm. But uh, yeah, that, that was. I don't know, and it's whoever made the video, whoever she had to edit and stuff, it was fantastic. They did a fantastic job. They did, and I don't know if I'll be able to watch it again, but yeah. it's a uh, it's a good one, you know. And uh, his family didn't come to the wedding. They didn't come to Cece's birthday. You know, that's some shit she had a lot. You know, not not for her, but for Cece, right, something they're, right. they're gonna remember. You know, but that's something they're gonna regret yeah. forever now. Yeah, you know, so. I don't know. We still have those memories. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, I don't want to take up any more of your time. I appreciate you talking to us. Uh, no